the Concorde remains the only supersonic passenger aircraft ever built. Developed in the 1960s as an Anglo-French collaboration, the Concorde was perceived as the future of international air travel. Huge technical difficulties had to be overcome. Flying at twice the speed of sound caused the aircraft's skin to heat up and special cooling techniques had to be developed. The streamlined shape needed for supersonic flight was bad for pilot visibility when taking off and landing. During approach to the runway at subsonic speed, the long nose would be dropped to a position 12 and a half degrees below the horizontal. Despite its sophistication, the Anglo-French consortium only sold 20 Concords. Other plane makers were opting for wide-bodied planes that were cheaper to operate. Sales of the supersonic plane were never able to cover the developmental costs. The Concorde carved out a luxury niche purely on the transatlantic run. Governments were unwilling to allow the plane to fly supersonically over land because of the sonic boom it generated, so its services were expensive and limited. Then, in 2000, everything changed. Air France Flight 4590 flicked up a titanium strip lying on the runway and punctured a tyre. This triggered a series of catastrophic events that led to the loss of all on board and four more on the ground. It was the beginning of the end for the Concorde. Though the problems that had made it so vulnerable were rectified, the plane was retired in 2003.